Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing my people? Today I am back with another video and guess what we're doing today? Well, as you guys could tell from the title, we're going to be watching one of the most disgusting cheapskates I have ever seen. So, um, <laughs> let's get into it. Hi, my name is Kate Hashimoto and I'm an extreme cheapskate. I'm a licensed CPA and I've lived in New York for oh, three no. years. Although it is the most expensive city to live in, I found ways to get around it. I have only a dollar thirty here. Would you take that? If I have to spend money, I cannot avoid it. I will try to pay as little as possible. I am a cheapskate for a number of reasons. After I graduated from college, I pretty much assumed I'd be employed for the rest of my life. But then I was a casualty of the dot-com crash. I've lost a career, not for $25. I learned that the best way to live is to be very frugal and minimize my expenses. It's going to be ten dollars. Have only a five dollars worth of change. Do you be able to take five dollars for that? No. Yo. <laughs> Did she just? Okay. All right. So there's two reasons why you made that ten times worse. First of all, you bring it in chains. Chains. What? Ooh. Coins. You bring it in coins and you're like, yeah, count that up for me real quick. And the second reason is you're also going to be paying half the price. Just straight up, boom, like that. What? What do you think? You think he's going to let you go like that? No. You put it at £10 or $10. You give him £5 worth of change. Oh, no, unfortunately, I can't. You can't bring it down? Yeah, I wish and I could, I but I can't. And I'll go elsewhere. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Have a good day. If I use a paper towel in a public restroom, I'm drying off cans that I washed clean, so I keep them and reuse them. What? I did not just hear that correctly. You reuse paper towels that are used in public restrooms. What is wrong with you? Don't tell me she's actually gonna take it away. You can reuse the paper towel many times. Why pay to throw something away? That girl's face right there. That's my face. If I was there, I would have had the same reaction as that woman. What is wrong with you? Why would you take a paper towel from a public restroom? It's just, no, it, it can. Especially when I can get it for free. I don't believe in paying for furniture. I have never bought furniture. Wow, there's some chairs in the dumpster. There's no way. Hmm. I furnished my place through picking up discarded furniture on the street. Okay, you know what? That's it's kind of understandable if pe some people might not have a lot of money like go in the bins and search for like some chairs but like fine that that's acceptable but oh come on come on you could you could find other ways to like surely come on you could you could find some offers come on before the trash picked it up now this is pretty dirty no sh it's a garbage bin what do you expect but this one looks much cleaner. Well, I don't have high-end, like, upscale furniture, but I would say I probably saved at least a couple thousand dollars. I might as well do that too. One thousand dollars? On furniture. Mm, this works well and it's much cleaner. I average about $200 a month in basic living expenses. This is my bed where I sleep, and um, these are actually yoga mats that somebody was trying to get rid of, so I took them. I do consider my bed comfortable, and I don't really have a need for a real bed. Beds cost hundreds of dollars, and that is absolutely outrageous. Okay, Karen, it's a hundred dollars. Deal with it. At least you could have it for the rest of your life. You're not going to just keep it for a year and then throw it out again. It's not like that. You have the bed and you keep it for your whole life. Unless you want to change it. Like, come on. $100 is for a lifetime. I mean, in my opinion, that's a pretty good deal. But in your opinion, what? how is that not a good deal? Man, come on. There could be cockroaches on the floor that's going to crawl in your eyes. In your eyes? <gasps> Crawling in your ears. How do you deal with that? Come on, Karen. And here is my small kitchen. My place came with a dishwasher. The dishwasher is a waste of uh, water and energy. So now it's just storage space. <sighs> Does this woman not realize that dishwashers are there for a reason? It's been manufactured 
to use the perfect amount of water that it needs so you don't waste any more water. You think that's the best way to use a dishwasher? Come on, man, it's just like $20 a month. I normally don't spend money on clothes. I haven't bought any clothes in probably eight years. I did not just say that. Please don't tell me I just not. Eight years! Eight years! Eight years! Woman, come on. Do you not realize there is like some type of t-shirt, some type of clothing that are like 10 pounds, right? Or $10 in your situation. Why would you? Come on, man. So No, 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 please. And once I'm done showering, then I lather up the clothes. She uses the same water to wash her clothes as she uses to wash her body. This is crazy. Oh, no. Oh, no. But isn't the water dirty? Because, like, you washed your body with that. The whole point of showering is for the water to take all that back, 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 bacteria off of your body. Why are you using that same type of bacteria water to wash your clothes? Oh no! I almost never do laundry. I think the last time I did laundry was um, maybe three years ago. And I start wringing out these clothes. I don't use toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bathroom. I take this water bottle that I have and I rinse myself off. If I just urinate it and I'm done with that, that and then I dry myself $100. off with the paper towels I have. If I took a dump, then I also grab soap, wipe myself down with the soap, and then I take uh, the water and rinse off the soap. I don't believe in spending money on something that you're just going to throw away, such as toilet paper or paper towels. Well, anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And also, don't forget. Don't for oh, yeah. Don't forget the previous video that I have made on my reaction video. Please check that out. There's a card right up there. It's going gonna, it's gonna to show you. It's either up there or there. I'm, I'm not sure. But, yeah, anyways, that's my most recent reaction video on the most scariest horror animation. So, you know, if you want to watch more videos like these, I will make more if you guys like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching this video, and peace out. Mwah.